Hey guys, I am Hardik Kheradia, the stylish beardo. I have kept this look since quite some time now. So, off late, I have been getting a lot of queries related to beard. In this video, I will try to answer a lot of questions that have been repeatedly asked to me related to beard. So, let's begin. Uh, one of the most common questions that have been asked to me is how to grow a beard. The only way to grow a beard is to go to a farmer. Okay, jokes apart, so if you do not have a beard, uh, there is probably very less that you can do about it. So just wait for puberty to hit you right and you'll be good to go. Okay, one more thing I'd like to highlight here is a lot of uh, beard product brands these days uh, sell beard growth oil. Beard growth oil does not really help you to grow a beard if you do not have facial hair. It only helps you to keep the beard healthy and it, it helps you to make the beard look a little more dense if you have a really scarce one. So that's the only point of beard growth oil. So if there is a brand that is trying to fool you uh, by saying that uh, you take this beard growth oil and that will help you grow a beard if you don't have facial hair, please do not fall prey to such gimmicks. Okay, uh, uh, makeup dada, please. Arey, arey, koi makeup parani khodi karna padta sab yar. Kya? Next time I'm not going to shoot a video except it's for a collab brand. If it's if it's with a big brand, okay. Anyway, let's take the next question. Okay, the next question is, what do I do if I have a patchy beard? I've been asked this question also a lot of times. A lot of guys I know have a patchy beard, okay? So they don't have a full beard like this. They have patches of hair. If you have a patchy beard, again, that depends on genetics, okay? What you can do is you can style your beard in such a way. You can let the beard uh, hair grow and you can style your beard in such a way that it doesn't look patchy. Suppose you have more hair towards your cheek. Okay, but you have less hair towards your jawline. So what you can do is you can style your beard in such a way. You can let the upper uh, part of the uh, beard grow and you can style it in such a way that it doesn't look patchy. That's all you can do if you have a patchy beard. Again, beard, as I mentioned earlier, beard growth oil does not help you to grow a beard if you don't have hair at all. It all depends on your genetics. It all depends on hormones. Okay, another common question that I have been asked several times on my comments is about itching. Okay, a lot of uh, young boys who start to grow a beard and even uh, the not so young boys, okay, they ask me that uh, when they start to grow a beard, they suffer from itching. Itching simply means khujili in Mumbai language, okay? I hope you know that. Anyway, so uh, there are uh, a few probable causes of itching. One main reason is dryness of the skin. Uh, the second reason is a little surprising and a little weird as well. Your own beard hair, your own facial hair tends to poke your skin because uh, I do not think that anybody's uh, beard hair is exactly straight. Okay, so it is always a little wavy. So your own hair tends to poke your own skin. That can also be a reason. Okay, as I mentioned about the dryness as well, a lot of people, it, it really sounds weird, but a lot of people tend to get dandruff even in their beard. So if you suffer from itching, basically what you need is hydration of your skin. Meaning the way we use a moisturizer for our facial skin, that's exactly how you're supposed to nourish your beard skin. Okay, uh, one more thing about beard care, you need to wash your beard properly. Make sure you wash it at least once a day when you take a bath, as if required more than that. Uh, it depends on your lifestyle, it depends on uh, uh, the weather and a lot of other things. But make sure at all times you keep it very clean. Uh, whenever you feel uh, that it is itching, uh, the first thing you should uh, do is wash it with a good uh, beard wash. Or uh, you know, sometimes I even use the normal hair shampoo that we use. That also can be used. Uh, another thing about nourishment, okay? Along with beard uh, oil, there are a lot of beard oils available in the market. So uh, you can use uh, whichever suits your needs the best. Okay, another thing that people ask me is uh, what style of beard should we keep? Now that depends upon your face shape. We normally refer to it as face cut. Okay, uh, these days there are uh, weird names of beard. Okay, you, probably you may not even have heard about. It the 3 o'clock beard, the 5 o'clock beard, 
it's called the three o'clock style. It's called the five o'clock style. So uh, the the most commonly known are French beard and this kind of a full beard. Uh, you can also keep playing with the mustache. So uh, the question is a very subjective question. What style of beard to keep? So that completely depends on uh, your beard growth. Firstly, second, your face cut. And third also depends on the event that you are uh, probably willing to attend or it also depends on your lifestyle. Now suppose uh, you are a teaching faculty in a school so you probably don't want to go looking like an ape. It will look better if you keep that long beard uh, if you are more of an adventurous person, if you are a biker. So it also depends. I mean obviously I am not going by the stereotypes but then that is what it is. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, please put it in the comments section. And if you want me to make a video on something else, on another topic, say for example grooming or maybe uh, what clothing styles or color combinations or anything of that sort. So put it in the comments section and I'll try to make a video on that as well. And one more thing, do not forget to SLS. Now what's SLS? It's subscribe, like and share. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned guys. This is Hardik Radia signing off the stylish beard.